Today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. And today we celebrate Our Lady of the Rosary. So for the month of October, the Catholic Church honors Our Lady of the Rosary, but it's specifically today that we celebrate her feast day. And we want to honor her as Holy Redeemer students. And so part of our prayer today, we are going to pray a decade of the rosary for all of our families at Holy Redeemer, that we all are safe, healthy, and that we are doing God's will right where we're at. All right, let us begin today's prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We unite this rosary with the intentions of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we will pray the first joyful mystery, the Annunciation, when the angel Gabriel announced to Mary that she would give birth to her son, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, boys and girls, I have a few announcements. Now, first of all, I just want to go back to Our Lady of the Rosary and share with you the importance of us praying the rosary as a community. So just by us praying this first decade of the rosary, 
It is so powerful and we must trust that our Blessed Mother is hearing our prayers. So please pray another decade with your family sometime today for our school community. For all those that are sick, suffering, for those who have asked for our prayers. We also want to pray for all of us who are home that we really are diligent in our schoolwork, that we're not using this time as a waste, but as a time to really grow and learn. So make sure you're praying for one another. Also, again, we are staying home this week. Make sure that you are staying safe and that you are um, working on your schoolwork. If you need a computer or a tablet or a device, please contact the school so that we can have Miss Adolfo um, get you the proper um, either Chromebook or uh, tablet or uh, I think it's Amazon Fire um, tablets. So if you need one of those, please contact the school so we can get it for you. I am waiting for a class to have perfect Zoom attendance. So please, boys and girls, make sure you're showing up for your Zoom meetings and make sure you're coming in ready to learn with your video on and that you are prepared for class. Also, um, our thought for the day today is about the rosary and it is from St. Louis de Montfort. He says, when the rosary is said well, it gives Jesus and Mary more glory and is more meritorious than any other prayer. So we want to make sure when we pray the rosary that we're praying it well with our heart, really asking our Blessed Mother to intercede for our school community. Another story about the rosary, I remember when I was younger and I went to Catholic school, I was told that when we hold the rosary, it's like holding the hand of our Blessed Mother. So remember as you're praying the rosary and you're holding your rosary beads, that you're holding our Blessed Mother's hands and you're giving her all the prayers and the intentions in your heart so that she can take them to her son, Jesus. We have a special birthday today. So Emmanuel in sixth grade, happy birthday. Enjoy your celebration with your family. Those are all the announcements for today, boys and girls. Have a blessed day.